Good morning, QM Connect. Boy, it was another late night last night. Uh, hopefully I'll get more video today than I did yesterday. Talking about today, here we are, the last full day of the conference, and I'm going to start off with, well, we started off this morning with a group run already, and now I have two presentations to give, and we'll go from there. So we'll see what video I can capture. Face-to-face. -face. And a number of us have had conversations over the years of what would a QM rubric for a face-to-face -face course look like? And one of the questions I've had a number of times with a number of the QM staff is, is that even possible? And that's one of the things that we want to discover in this session today. Also make note of anything you see that might be missing. discussions about online learning and how we can make it better for our students. So uh, I'm very humbled and honored uh, to be recognized this way. So much validity to what we're saying. I will never be on the same league with a PhD until I have a PhD. It's just what it is, right? So I'm an instructional designer. Why should I listen to all the things you're saying? It's not me saying it. It's all the alumni that have come into this workshop to tell you, hey, what we're saying strategy-wise actually works. Well, that happened. And I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I know I had a good time with my workshop. I hope everyone enjoyed it as much as I did, discussing about how we could reverse engineer the QM rubric to review a face-to-face -face course. There's a number of good questions out there that need to be answered on that topic regarding course evidence and what should be looked at and reviewed and maybe what needs to be created as artifacts. Number of questions I think are still out there to be discovered before we can go too far with that. So hopefully we'll find some information on that and we'll work on that together. Another one I'm hoping that uh, if you joined Eddie and I for uh, course uh, the, the uh, course design uh, workshop, it's a dirty job but someone's got to do it. I hope you enjoyed discussing the interprofessional approach and how faculty, instructional designers, and other course design specialists from other disciplines, including the library, disability services, and instructional technologists, and straight technologists, and programmers, and multimedia developers, and everybody, how we all can work together and leverage our strengths to make our courses even better. Congratulations to all the award winners, well-deserved, and uh, congratulations, and I look forward to seeing who will rise next year and put in for some of those awards and, and what great work you're all going to do. Tomorrow we're going to wrap things up in the morning and I'm really hoping you're going to join us for the closing session on the trivia. That should be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it.